They call themselves the Soup Sisters, although brothers are welcome too. Students at a Saanich High School who volunteer a few afternoons during the school year to make soup and make a difference in the lives of women recovering from domestic violence. Veronica Cooper has more. There we go. This is a busy kitchen. I love to cook and I knew we had this facility here and these kids who I knew would want to help. And help they are, because these Claremont Secondary students are making about 80 litres of soup for Victoria Women's Transition House. It's a great cause and it's a great thing to do. We all come together and have a good time making soup for the less fortunate. So we did it uh, two times last year and we're hoping to do it four times this year. We've got uh, four different soups going today and we're hoping to make about 15 to 20 litres of each. So probably 60 to 80 litres of soup total, which is probably... Uh, 120 to 150 servings. Hayes invites staff from Transition House to give a presentation at each cooking session. Learn about the services that uh, the Victoria Women's Transition House offers in the community. Uh, learn a bit about healthy and unhealthy relationships, which I think is important for kids at this age. To have somebody come in and just explain to us what it means to them when they receive the soup is really inspiring. They talked about how, you know, these women are in crisis and they can't really think or, you know, plan a meal to make for themselves, but then they have this, and I think that that's really nice. All ingredients are provided free of charge from Country Grocer. The Parent Advisory Council also raises money. Any extra food is donated to the school cafeteria. I'm currently in charge of the stock, which is over there. It's, uh, it's about to boil, so I probably have to go check it soon. Once the soup is cooked, it's into containers and then into a van for delivery to Transition House, which will help a lot of women recovering from domestic violence. It's so great that young people are involved. These women live on very modest fixed income, and so the soup really provides them with nourishment for a number of meals and is very much appreciated. An act of kindness from the students of a Saanich Secondary School. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.